Climate change is expected to pose significant challenges for communities the world over. But one place where warming is happening most rapidly is Svalbard, a group of islands in the Arctic Sea overseen by the Norwegian government. The scientists there have found ice melting and glaciers retreating at alarming rates. That raises crucial questions about the future for the 2,500 people who have made their home there. Laura Make an issue with reports. Deep within the Arctic Circle between Norway and the North Pole sits the archipelago of Svalbard, a frozen, hostile environment where surviving is tough. But things are shifting. Climate change means temperatures are rising here rapidly. And for those living and working on Svalbard, it means environmental risks are also on the up. Reduced sea ice means polar bears are starting to push closer towards human settlements in search of food. And for tour guide Munz Gulgren, it means the gun he carries for protection holds even more weight. He's seen firsthand the impact climate change has had on Svalbard's glaciers and took us deep within one to demonstrate just how serious the melt really is. A part of the Justedals glacier where I've been working since 2011, that's gone back more than a kilometer. Uh, and that's just in length, so it's also probably about 35 meters of height that's been lost. It's not uh, numbers that have been given, it's just by looking. I think, unfortunately, that people will have to be affected before things will start happening. And it's probably the West that has to be affected, because we're the ones polluting the most. It's perhaps a cruel irony that Svalbard's wealth was built on coal, the world's biggest source of carbon emissions. Its landscape still peppered with infrastructure used to mine the fossil fuel over the last five decades. For a community this remote, transitioning towards more environmentally friendly energy alternatives is a real challenge. This coal mine has had its life extended by another two years in a bid to buy some time, but making a green shift will require significant investment. With tourism now Svalbard's main sector for employment and economic growth, demand for change is growing. Visitors increasingly want their own carbon footprint to be reduced and their activities to leave no trace. With some companies now offering greener solutions, like electric-powered snowmobile excursions. Predicting what the future may look like in the face of a changing climate, though, is difficult. Humans were not meant to be here. Uh, Svalbard is far too close to, to the North Pole and you can't really grow anything so everything has to be brought to us. So it is in a way we, are, we have created what we feel like an, in a way they're quite natural. It's natural for us to be here. It's a lot of normal. It's, nor, it's a normal life in many ways but at the same time it's not. For now at least this community is doing what it can to thrive even if there are some concerns that one day it may no longer be a viable place to live. Laura Makinishu at CNA, Svalbard in the Arctic Circle.